Hello everybody, this is Baljeet from JK. Welcome on my channel. In this video, we are going to follow three steps with our MacBook Pros from mid-2012. I have a MacBook 13-inch, MacBook 15-inch. We will factory reset and update to the latest operating system is available today in February 2020. I haven't made a video before already in three parts, but I believe my video was a little bit confusing or I was missing something. So I have a lot of comments, people still asking what to do the next. So in this video, we will follow three steps. In one video, I will really explain what my means to three steps. Actually, if you have a MacBook 13 inch and MacBook 15 inch launched in mid 2012 and you didn't create any backup past and you want to factory reset. So what will be happen if you factory reset your MacBook 13 inch, this MacBook will go operating system 10.8.5, which one originally when you bought at the first time. And this will go to 10.11 or something. Whatever the time you bought your MacBook, you have an operating system. So basically it will go to the original operating system first time you bought it. Today's operating system is 10.15.2 or 3, whatever going to be available. If you try to upgrade from 10.8.5 to 10.15, then your 13 inch MacBook Pro will not update because a requirement for 10.15 is you have to have a running operating system 10.9 or later. So in MacBook 13 inch, we have to follow three steps. So we have to factory reset. Then we're going to operate to the 10.11 operating system and third step will be 10.11 to 10.15 but MacBook 15 inch once you have update you will be able to update to the latest operating system. Now let's start. So now let's start with the factory reset. First it can be many many reasons you want to sell your MacBook or this your MacBook not working the way you want so you want to reset so first step you want to do if you have a uh, your information your data you want to save it you would like to backup you can do either way you can backup your uh, iCloud account or you can have uh, an external uh, storage device USB drive hard drive according to your data size and then you simply plug into your MacBook and you can copy paste or you can just drop it in like whatever you want to save it. Once you're done, you back up your data, you just eject your hard drive or USB drive, then you go to system preference. That's really important steps you have to have do it as uh, can uh, help you to arrange your MacBook Pro safely without you losing any information and without you giving your information away if you want to sell your MacBook. So now we are on system preference. So over here, the one thing you want to do, you want to uncheck find my Mac. Like I have it done, then it will ask your Apple ID password. You fill your Apple ID password and you will be signed out from find my MacBook. You have to have do it if you want to sell it. Even it's better if you want to keep it because it's not going to bother you when you try to uh, back login just in case you mess up your password or something. You can log in in any time you come back. Now we're done with find my Mac. The next step we're going to do, we are going to open iTunes. So once you open iTunes and iTunes, we have to deauthorize our MacBook device from iTunes account. From iTunes, all the way on the top menu, you will see account. From the account, when you click, you will see authorization. Then it says deauthorize this computer. You have to click on deauthorize this computer. It will ask you your uh, same thing, Apple ID. Uh, email and password. Okay, now we have a deauthorized our MacBook already. The next step we are going to bring with the camera, not with the screen recording. For this one, we have to turn off our MacBook. We're going to turn off completely MacBook and we are going to press and hold the command key and R key from our keyboard if we are going to keep this MacBook. If you want to sell this MacBook, then you will press Option key, Command key, R key, three keys together, then start your MacBook. Once you start it, 
and both options you will get to this folder this window at this window we are going to select the disk digitality we're going to click continues once you press continue and the next window it will give you information about your hard drive on your macbook you want to make sure you are on your uh, hard drive on your macbook hard drive the way i have a selected already you have to select the hard drive then on the top line we're going to click on erase by clicking on erase you need to know that we are erasing everything from our macbook to factory default we have to erase everything so once you click on erase it will ask you one more option and it will give you the name of a hard drive you are going to erase and then you will go to continue or the way you want so let's click on erase and it will raise your hard drive I have a selected already I say erase so it will take a couple seconds it will erase everything from your hard drive then it will say done once it says done you just simply close this window from the top by pressing that red cross button on the left hand top corner it's done so just simply close it finish and close now we are going to choose the option is called reinstall mac os click next now our mac operating system sierra start installation it will be starting press continue As we know, there are going to be a couple things. We have to click yes, agree. We have to agree with a couple stuff. Like the way we are installing operating systems, you have to follow all the options according to your need. And we are going to install our MacBook operating system. I'm also staying with the camera so I can record everything. What are the common things it's asking? Over here, asking about the country or whatever your country is in you're gonna select then you probably want to log into your Wi-Fi because it's gonna factor reset whatever the Mac operating system is going to pick up from uh, online you simply click and uh, fill your uh, password for your Wi-Fi network and just keep going and it will take a couple seconds your MacBook will be ready now we have done the first step we have already factory reset our macbook i have a two macbooks here we will uh, talk about both of mid 2012 15 inch mid 2012 13 inch this one is mid 2012 13 inch i have to follow three step on it so i'm already factory default operating system is 10.8.5 if i have to update to the latest one then i have to have running 10.9 or later so i have to follow three step I will update from 10.8.5 to 10.11.6 then and third step we will do 10.11.6 to 10.15.1 let's talk about a 15 inch first I have to follow only two step here when I have a, a, a fit to reset my 15 inch MacBook my 15 inch MacBook factory default operating system is 10.12.6 so simply at this one I have to follow only two steps first I have a factory reset second I will just uh, ask for uh, look for my software update and it will show me the latest operating system is available for this MacBook and I will download and install so my MacBook 15 inch is already done. I have a follow two step. First I have a factory reset and uh, then I have updated to the latest operating system and MacBook 15 inch you will be enjoy the latest operating system. But if you talk about MacBook mid 2012 and 13 inch when I have a factory reset I go to 10.8.5. I cannot update to 10.15 because it require your operating system running 10.8.5 so I have to do something in the middle uh, any operating system is later than 10.9 and it require 10.8.5 to be updated so now let's see how we can do this one we are going to follow three step now let's move to the second step 
So now let's check first if you go to the Apple logo on left hand side and check for a software update. It will not give you any operating system update but it will show you you have a iTunes or other software to update but if you try to they will say you need a 10.13 or 10.15 running to update those software. So I have a found the way you can fix that one so now let's go we can figure it out how we can um, uh, how we can figure it out how we can update to the latest one so inside the the Google we are going to search on Google when Google we are going to search for OS XEL captain 10.11.16 I will also leave a link in description so you can simply click and download that uh, 10.11.6 operating system for MacBook. You will see the first option on the top. We're going to click on here. That's general. That's from the Apple. I'm not uh, going to download from the third party or anything. If you look at on this one, this one is just required to update to this one 10.6 or later. So as we have a 10.8, so we are able to install this MacBook operating system. So over here at the number four if you slide over here you will see download OS X EL captain so we are going to click on this download link when you simply click it will start downloading here on the top you can see I have a mid already a half of already it taking about like maybe 10 to 15 minutes I believe is also depend on your MacBook speed if you have a a little bit faster probably will take less time so now we are wait for to we finish download then we will start installing okay now our operating system is downloaded already and it is downloaded and download folder if you don't know how to find it so we are going to in finder inside the finder you will find one of the folder is called download so it will be located at download folder it will be downloaded and this folder so now we are simply going to click on uh, this one uh, install osx.dmg file we have to double click and it will start installation just now our file is already open it's converted to package now we have to click this package we have to install this package in our macbook once you click on uh, this package it will ask you or it will give you some instructions that's the way it's going to be going to click on continue we're going to click on continue again and now we have to click on install once you click on install you have to give permission to this app to be get installed in our macbook so you have to put password for this macbook to log in as you can see it looked like it got quick but it took me about 45 minutes to be get on this page this portion we have to install everything in this uh, list and we are going to click on close now we're going to close everything now we are going to open our launch pad from the left hand bottom corner second one is launch pad we have to click on launch pad anytime you install any app or any software it will get there you can find an launch pad so now just click on the launch pad icon you will find install os x l captain double click on me it will get back on your dock you double click again it will start processing uh, installation the latest uh, operating system you can read it and click on continue once you click on continue then we have to agree the term and the condition there is no choice we have to agree and once you agree then you have a two options back and install we are going to click on install once you click on install you have to give permission to install this uh, operating system on your macbook then it will start processing installing your operating system so this installation process will take 45-50 minutes then you will be done and you will be asked to restart and once you restart you have to make some uh, setting like you might be you have to fill your Wi-Fi password how you want to look your display like couple more things and once you have done everything it will promote to your uh, new operating system home page so now update process is finished already we are on a new update 10.11 go to the Apple logo on the top uh, left hand corner above this Mac and you will find what operating system you are running we are running OS X EL captain 10.11.6 now we finished our uh, second step we are going to move on third step on our MacBook mid 2012 13 inch 
we updated already our 10.8.5 operating system to 10.11.6 now we are going to move from 10.11.6 to 10.15.1 which one is latest today on 2020 january 10th so for that one we have to go to apple website or you can search in google mac os 10.15 or how to upgrade your macbook you will from it on this website at this website we are going to number four and you can upgrade to macbook operating system catalina you can simply click on that one you can uh, click on that one your macbook will start updating to the latest one 10.15.1 and you can just enjoy or you can do the other way you can go to the app store and say so the app store just click on the top to the featured folder and you will see the first thing is Mac OS Catalina and you just simply click on download you will see option for downloading if you don't see that option that means your MacBook is not um, meeting to the requirement for this operating system so you have to download and we have to wait to be finished downloading it will take maybe 20 to 30 minutes we have to be patient as soon as it got downloaded it will open installation window already and we're gonna click on continue we can uh, just close that window we just finish download click on continue once you click on continue you have to be agree all operating system have the same process to install now we're gonna agree and we have to give permission for this MacBook once we click on install you have to put password whatever you're using to log in to the MacBook you are going to update okay then it will go to this window it's gonna take about maybe 30 40 minutes then it will restart after restart it will do some process it will update your uh, computer setting up everything you're gonna take maybe next 30 40 minutes once we done you will we on this window and this window we have to put our MacBook login password once you have a login password first step you have to be set up as a like we do the new uh, setup or whatever you have to be go through the those setting you can uh, change setting whatever you like after you have uh, all the setting you applied now we are on this window and we are running mac os catalina 10.15.2 we done updated our macbook already and uh, it took me about one hour to one hour thirty minute for whole process to make this video smaller I have to cut big portion of this video was uh, not necessary to show like it was just a uh, processing or something